Today's exciting news on the ocean is about how oxygen is made on the seabed from what seem to be non-biological sources. That's surprising because until now it was thought by far the majority of the oxygen in the air comes from living organisms, trees and other plants such as algae in the sea. A very small fraction comes from the chemical reactions in the atmosphere, but that's pretty negligible. And until the paper in Nature Geoscience published today, the 22nd of July 2024, it was not understood that there is also oxygen produced on the seabed. Andrew Sweetman and colleagues from the UK, USA and Germany have shown with some very careful experiments that metallic nodules on the seabed, which are about this sort of long and exist in their trillions in places such as the Central Pacific where they were looking, can create the electric current necessary to split water into oxygen and hydrogen. You probably know from chemistry experiments in school that electric current splits water in this way, causing bubbles of gas at the electrodes. The manganese nodules on the seabed are thought to act in the same way, because in seawater they produce electric currents naturally. Small, only about three quarters of the voltage of an AA battery, but enough to do the job. The team used sample containers sunk into the sea floor like upturned cans and mounted on what's called a lander, which can be commanded to come back to the surface at any point. Pushed into the sediment, the containers had a sealed environment and very sensitive oxygen sensors inside measured very slight changes in oxygen levels in the seawater over a couple of days. The team even did controls with seawater enhanced with fertilizers and dead organic material to see if the oxygen was being produced by any kind of living material. But after they had checked their results many times, they were able to conclude that the oxygen showing up in the samples was indeed from a dead inorganic source. Probably those metallic nodules themselves, or at least the oxygen was being produced around those metallic nodules. What does this mean? Even at the maximum production rate of oxygen produced in this way, it could take millions of years for all the oxygen in the atmosphere to be replaced by non-living sources such as this from the seabed. Trees and other plants produce oxygen far quicker and in far greater quantities. So it's no substitute for biological production of oxygen on Earth. But over, say, millions of years, it could be significant, and it might suggest that other planets, the exoplanets we've been finding, could produce an oxygen atmosphere even without life, which would certainly help, because it's necessary for life, and certainly for the many complex life forms that have evolved here on Earth.